Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again so much for our time together. We're looking forward to seeing you at Revival Nights at Main Campus tonight. I'll be continuing the series on the God of all grace. And the feeding program is launched and moving. We're in our second day of it today. Thank you, all of our COP staff, getting up early, getting down there, and getting to work. Right now, I want us to go back to the book of Job. And I'm just going to share one verse with you. But before I share that, I want you to remember God's testimony of Job. In Job chapter 1, in the land of Uz, there lived a man whose name was Job. This man was blameless and upright. He feared God and shunned evil. Go down to verse 6. One day the angels came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came with them. The Lord said to Satan, Where have you come from? Satan answered Job, From roaming the earth and going back and forth in it. Then the Lord said to Satan, God brags on Job. Have you considered my servant Job? There's no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fears God, and shuns evil. Here was a unique man, a man who chose to live a holy life uniquely in the world. But now come all the way over to chapter 31 and begin to see the mindset of a man who chose to live a holy life and that God says lived a holy life. In verse 31 he said, I have made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at a girl. I've made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at a girl. I want to talk to the young men today. Recently, in the news, it said that the Philippines was the top consumer per capita of porn in the world. Now, now my friends, please, I don't want to condemn anybody. I don't want to put anybody down. But if you're a Christian and you're looking at porn, that needs to stop. Now, It starts, the whole porn addiction starts with looking lustfully at girls. Now, I know that there are girls, they just don't dress right. You know, they want to go to the beach and they think the beach means take all your clothes off and flaunt what you have and what you wish you had. And I understand there are girls today that even on the streets, like I was walking through ATC the other day and was shocked. Never in my wildest dream did I think I would see such a thing, walking in Alabang Town Center. There's a girl in a see-through white t-shirt with no bra on, super tight, showing everything she had and everything she wished to have. 23, 24-year-old girl. I'm going, Grave, I don't get this. Now, I know that there are girls that want to be looked at like that. They enjoy the attention. But gentlemen, that doesn't mean that we have to give it. That does not mean we have to give it. The addiction to pornography starts with how you look at women. Do you look at girls as your sisters in Christ? Is that your mindset? Or are you looking lustfully at a girl? Now, when I was in Bible college, I'd only been saved about eight months. And I was really struggling with this because I liked girls. And I was really struggling with this whole thing about what is looking lustfully and what is just... A pretty girl walked by and it attracted your attention. And we had this old professor, Brother Bechtal. And he said, the second look is where lust begins. He said, you can't stop noticing something that walks by. But when you do that second look, he said, that's where lust begins. Gentlemen, let's make a covenant with our eyes that we are not going to look lustfully at a girl. That instead we're going to look at young ladies as our sisters in Christ.